I'm Marianne Hansen. I'm an extension plant pathologist with Virginia Cooperative Extension, and we're out here today in the town of Blacksburg on the 9th of October, 2019, looking at an interesting disease of rose. Um, this disease causes some pretty weird symptoms on rose, pretty alarming to some people, and it could make you feel like you've got a, an alien rose or something. Um, it's The disease will cause witch's brooming of the new growth, which means a proliferation of a lot of shoots all out of one point, um, and that is not normal for roses. This disease uh, it has been around since uh, 1941. It was first reported in multiflora rose, which is a weedy rose, and uh, but it wasn't seen in cultivated roses in Virginia at least until the early 2000s and since then this disease has spread uh, to cultivated roses all over Virginia and in many other states and it's been known for a long time to be transmitted by a mite called an areophyid mite a very tiny mite but even though people knew how it was transmitted they didn't really know uh, def definitively what caused it. And it was a group at the University of Arkansas in 2011, so pretty recently, who discovered that the, um, the disease was caused by a virus, as many people suspected. So they actually found the virus. And today that virus is known as Rose Rosette virus. And um, the, the mite will transmit the virus by its feeding. And then when the virus gets inside the plant, it multiplies and it spreads throughout the plant from the shoots all the way to the roots. So that's why you can't just prune out these witch's brooms and get rid of the disease. The disease is really throughout the plant. The only thing that you might confuse this disease with is injury from the herbicide glyphosate, also, called, also commonly known as Roundup. And this herbicide, if it contacts green tissue of a plant, it will be translocated to the actively growing tissue. And what a lot of people don't realize is that when they spray herbicides around their yards in the fall, um, and usually that's often Roundup that people are spraying. If that contacts your roses in the fall, the Roundup will be translocated to the buds and the damage won't show up until the following spring. And then when the plant leaves out, you'll get these witch's brooms. Um, with Roundup, you usually get more of a yellow color. With rose rosette disease, we often see reddening of the new shoots like we do on these plants here. There are a number of other symptoms that you can see with rose rosette disease that distinguish it from glyphosate injury. Um, one thing that you'll often see is very thickened stems with a proliferation of thorns, a lot more thorns, thorns than normal, and those thorns are very soft. So that's one uh, distinguishing symptom. You can also get elongation, abnormal elongation of shoots. You often get the reddening of the new shoots. You'll get abnormal flower development. Uh, you can get early abortion of the flowers, or you may even get um, leaf tissue forming inside the flower, which is uh, another sort of alien feature of this disease. Um, so there are a lot of symptoms of rose rosette disease. You may not get all of them at once, so it can make the disease a little bit difficult to diagnose. Another thing that you'll see with rose rosette disease is that these plants become more susceptible to powdery mildew. And so sometimes they're hit with a double whammy of rose rosette disease and powdery mildew.